And then I'm going to share my screen because I'm going to go live. This is the district website. Okay. So the district right website is rotaryd5000.org. So when you go to scroll down to quick links. So when you go to quick links, here's the D5000 webinar recordings. When you click on that, we got the recordings for the past couple of years, <laughs> chronological order. Um, so you click on the uh, YouTube link and then you can see <clears throat> the recording for that session. And then things that um, the PowerPoints that we have, we'll, um, we'll post it here on the side. So this is where you can. Hey, so, you know, you're stuck in your house because it's raining. You can binge on these, um, <laughs> <laughs> these recordings. So this recording will be up there um, soon. Okay. So should we get started? You guys good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me go back to home. This is the district website, uh, rotyd5000.org. And I want to do first a PowerPoint because sometimes it it um, is slow to go from uh, page to page. So here we go. I'm gonna go through the PowerPoint first and then we'll go to the live website and I can show you exactly where these things are so you can find them. So rotaryd5000.org is the website. We do have another one um, called rotaryinhawaii.org. That one is more for outfacing um, the public and it's got you know base generic information about um, Rotary and the and the district. So this one is more for us, and we can find a lot of um, information like up um, events coming up, grant information, meeting information, a lot of great information. And the way that you get into uh, finding um, things that are for members, you go to member login, and everybody has a login when you are put into the club runner. So what you would do is click on that. And if you don't have um, a, a, a username and login of password, you you would click on this new user link and then you get an email. So that's why it's important to have the right email address for you. And then you'll get an email to um, give you instructions on how to set up your password. And then once you get in, you can change the username to something else. Okay, so that's where you go for your login. Now, once you get in, it's going to show you the homepage again, and then you click on um, the member area. So your name is going to be up on the right side. You can um, you can change your own profile by putting in your picture, um, information about um, your your career. Like it, there is a bio area for you to put in. Um, so you can manage that your own self by going to four members and edit my profile. Just make sure that when you edit, you upload a picture of yourself, um, you save at the bottom. So uh, you can manage uh, the addresses, uh, email addresses. Uh, you can put in all of your uh, recognitions, like your Paul Harris Fellows, um, your positions in the clubs. There are tabs for all of those things. And then you can have a privacy tab on what you want shown and not. Um, and then don't forget to save at the bottom. So if you need to find a Rotarian, you would log in and go to this member search. So as long as you log in, go to member search, and then you just put in the name of the person or the club, and you can get their information on um, um, you know, their address, their email address, what club they're in. Okay, so you can do that yourself. Then there's the yellow pages if you wanted to find someone who's um, doing business as something, a printer or something, Rotarians in our district. Club Runner has an app, so you can put that on your phone. What you need to do is go to the App Store, so your Google Play or the App Store, and download <clears throat> the Club Runner app to your phone, and you use your um, same password as the Club Runner. And it's so convenient to have this on your phone because you can find um, your your um, your members get their phone number, you can text them, you can get their address. So a lot of great information. And I am expecting Club Runner to come in and help us. Oh, Club Runner's here. So Club Runner is gonna talk about um, some of the new enhancements that's on Club Runner. So uh, was it Robin? Who's here from Club Runner? Um, this is Michael from Club okay. Runner. How is everyone doing? 
I'm going to stop sharing so that you can share your screen and tell us about what's uh, the new things, enhancements on Club Runner. Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much, Naomi. And let me go ahead and just start sharing my screen here. And this guy's coming to us from Canada. Mm -hmm. We're all, for the most part, everyone, all of our support team here at Club Runner, we're all in the Canada area, specifically Toronto. So we're we're having a fun time. Uh, so thank you, everyone, for joining uh, the session today. Uh, I'm going to go take you very quickly through some of the new features uh, that are coming or available and ready to use in Club Runner right now. Um, so this is a page that we have on our website, and let me just share this with everyone. Uh, this is a this is the big list of everything that we have released and we've announced uh, with this last pet season. So let's, if we scroll down this page, we can see the very the very first item that we have here: mobile message broadcasts. Um, Typically within Club Runner, the only real way to reach out to uh, your club, your the rest of the and other members of the club, is to go through and you can send an email. Um, you can log into your club website, the district website, send an email out. Um, and we've received a lot of feedback on we want more additional ways to go through and actually connect with our club. So we've done that with mobile message broadcasts. And this will allow you to send notifications and just any message that you want uh, directly to all of your club members, uh, directly to their mobile device. Now, this does require that everyone does go through and have the mobile app installed and they are logged in. But it will allow that you to quickly send out notices or updates on anything that you want. If you see in the picture here, there's actually a couple of examples of um, the, uh, the, the Sorry, the meeting for today uh, being canceled due to some uh, some bad weather uh, and also some changing of locations that we have here. You can do this. You can send out whatever you want. If you want to find out more about these mobile app, mobile message broadcasts, just go ahead and click on this learn more link in the link that I sent you earlier. But there is one more thing that I want to show you with the mobile app. Naomi did give you a quick rundown on everything, but there is one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and change the screen that I'm sharing, actually. Should have this over here. There we go. So this is the mobile app that we have. And we're, right now we are currently in those club notifications, so we can go ahead and we can take a look at all of the list of notifications we've sent out. If you are a club admin, you can send out some here. But the other really cool feature that we just implemented is that you can now go through and update your own profile directly through the mobile app. So you can keep all of your information up to date uh, right at the tip of your fingers. So if you're in the mobile app, we can go to edit profile. And then you'll have access to go through and you'll see all of your profile information. And if we click edit profile one more time, we'll be able to go through and update our name, email address, phone numbers, all of that, we can make sure it's all up to date uh, right from our from our smartphone. So those are the two features that we just released for the mobile app. We really hope that you guys go through, uh, you install the mobile app, you try it out, you use it um, on, on your own time. Uh, and uh, we hope you enjoy using it to connect with your club. Moving on. There are there are quite a few uh, quite a few different features here. We the next module that we have is the donations module. This has been available for a little uh, quite a little time now. Um, this will allow you to go through and actually accept donations for a variety of different fundraisers directly through your club website. So you can see in this image we have a couple of examples, and I'm going to pull that up on our website here. So we have a couple of different fundraisers available, uh, Coats for Kids, uh, Disaster Relief Fund, Schools in Honduras, and Wheelchair Fundraisers. These are all different funds that we've set up in this in this, uh, this little test club here. And it doesn't necessarily have to be any of these in particular. When you go through and set this up for yourself, uh, you, can, you can specify any details you want. But if we come to this page and we click on donate now for any of these individual campaigns, which is what we call them, 
we'll be able to go in and select a specific amount that we want to donate. So you can say, and these are all customizable amounts as well. Um, we can say $5, $10, all the way up to 100. And we can also choose to specify a specific amount, like if we want to do $7.50, for example. And we click Donate. Oh. After a little bit of verification, we are now brought to the actual page where we can go through, we can enter in our card information. So if we're logged in, our information will already be implemented or, or entered for us. And we just need to enter in our uh, credit card information here to submit that donation. So it makes it really easy for, um, for yourself, members of your club, or just general members of the public to come in and donate to the club and whatever fundraisers you guys are looking to, uh, to host. Once you have your donations, we also provide some really nice reports that will give you access to all of this information really quickly. So you can go through and you can see oh, and when exactly did we receive this donation? Who gave it to us? Uh, what fund was it supposed to go towards? Uh, and you can access that all of, all of it really quickly here. You can also even choose to send out emails to any donors that you may have, which is a, 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 really, a really, a really cool feature that I really like. Every time I show this off to a bunch of to, to people, it, it seems like it's uh, pretty well received. So I hope you guys get to get a chance to use it. Next, we have a new uh, event system. Oh, wait, hold on. So if someone wanted that donation button on, how do you uh, get that on your website? And then you would need to set up the merchant service program so that the funds go to your club, mm. right? Can yeah, you that is correct. So the donations module, uh, it does require the activation of the online payment and e-commerce module, uh, which just generally enables credit card transactions across your website. Uh, and let me go ahead and I will send a link to you guys for this as well. Let me go ahead and pull this up. Here you guys go. So you can you will need to sign up with one of our partner payment providers. There's a couple of different ones up uh, depending on where you where you're where you're located. Um, and once you've signed up, it will be connected directly to you, whichever bank account your club wants to connect it to. And then those funds will be directed uh, through that payment processor into that bank account. So once once you've been able to get all of that connected up, if we go into your club's little member area here, you'll be able to access the donations module in this top blue navigation bar by clicking on donations and then donation settings, donation reports for any reports that you want. You can also set up some email templates as well. But this main donation settings page is where you'll do the bulk configuration of the module to say, for example, change uh, which amounts that you want to be able to be available to have selected or if you want to allow custom amounts, and then specifically which payment account, if you have multiple, that you want to direct those payments to. Any Anything else about the donations module anyone had any questions about before we move on? Can you use that for um, like um, your lunch dues, your lunch ticket or dues? Mm, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Technically, you could. Um, it'll be a, quite a bit of manual work on that front. The next module that we have that we have coming up, I think, would be a little bit of a better option uh, in that case. So let's just go ahead and we'll, we can start on that one then. The next module here is called Cloud Events slash Tickets. This is one of our newer event modules. Um, you got, if you guys have played around in Club Runner already, you might have seen Event Planner or My Event Runner. Uh, this is uh, one of our newest modules. We are upgrade uh, upgrade from My Event Runner, and we are eventually looking to phase out My Event Runner in favor of cloud events. Uh, so this is a much more robust and customizable way to host events, meetings, or whatever you whatever you'd like. Uh, so we have an example one here. Uh, we have our Canada Day of Rib Fest. Now this doesn't have to be for something like this. This could be just a general club meeting uh, where you wanna sell like meal tickets or something like that. 
but it will enable you to set up a really nice looking uh, landing page here where you can display all of the information about your event. You can include a quick little map and details regarding where the event is being located, as well as some contact information for the organizers of your event. And then it's once you're on this page, it's really straightforward to go through and actually register for these events. So it makes it really easy uh, for anyone that wants to come in and attend. All you do is click on this register button in the top right corner. And then uh, a little pop-up window will appear where you'll be able to select all of the different items that you want to be able to purchase and slash register for, uh, for your events. So you can come in and you can say, um, now, this don't have to have a specifically have to have a price, um, but say for the example of a club meeting, you can just, uh, enter in a ticket to say, hey, I'm attending the event for zero dollars. It's a free event. Um, and we can come here and we can enter in however many we want to purchase. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we can have some additional products and add ons, which allow you to go through and sell additional items. We generally, uh, for the sake of the example, like to use a parking pass or t-shirts. Um, but if this is like a club meeting, you could use uh, meal tickets, um, uh, like a guest pass, something like that. You can go in and you can customize all of these options. So in the example of a t-shirt, you can have um, like your different, uh, your different shirt sizings and however many you want to be able to purchase in those specific sizes. There are some, you have the option to provide some free items as well, like a free pair of sunglasses, which unfortunately look to be sold out this time. Darn. Um, and then there's also the option of setting up the additional donations. Now this doesn't, uh, this doesn't implement with the donations module. This is directly a, like a donation to this event specifically. But if anyone wanted to provide an additional donation, they can do that. And so we, you can, once you've gone through this, you've selected all of the items that you want to purchase. We just click to proceed to checkout. And then we will be asked to enter in all of the information that we have. You'll have your big order summary up at the top, including a, the, the, the total amount. If the a promo code has been set up, which you can do, uh, you can enter in that promo code there to, um, to get like a discount or an additional item, something like that. And then you'll be able to enter in all of your information uh, for the individual tickets that you're purchasing. Uh, you see here we have a couple questions like, do you have any food allergies? So if there's any specific information that you want to gather from your registrants uh, before so that they can attend, uh, then you can create any, any amount of questions that you want, and they'll all be asked uh, during that registration process. You'll see that there is a field for all of these questions for each individual ticket that was purchased. So for each attendee, all that information will be gathered rather than just for whoever was purchased uh, doing the big order overall. And then as you scroll down, the very bottom is where, again, where we'll enter in our credit card information if you have that functional functionality enabled. Or if you do choose, you can do another form of payment. In this case, we have a check option along with some instructions on where to uh, send some additional information. In this case, we say, we, we have it say check. I'm not sure why, uh, but uh, in the instructions, we're specifically talking about an e-transfer uh, to send some money via email. So then when you click submit, all, all that transaction will go through. Um, if a credit card, informa credit card information was entered, that transaction will occur. The, uh, all the amount for the registration will be processed by your payment processor and transferred directly into your club's bank account. If we come over here, let's I can show you some quick information about it. Oh, that was the wrong item. There we go. So this is our little landing page. Currently, the Cloud Events module is available in a free preview mode. As I mentioned before, it is eventually going to be replacing my event runner, which if you don't know, uh, has a pro version of a of $1 per registration. So currently, cloud events, 100% absolutely free for you to use uh, for the time being. In the, once we do end up doing a full release of the module after we've, re we've received any amount of feedback that you guys want to share, we use it to improve the module. 
Uh, we may be doing a full rollout. We'll be implement implementing uh, a pricing structure for it, but we'll make sure that information is available well ahead of time. But for the time being, absolutely free for you to use, no cost associated whatsoever. Any any quick questions about cloud events before we move on? Oh, looks like we sounds like we are good. So let's go ahead. Oh, I do see one question. Is cloud events available now? Yes, it is. Uh, so if you if you guys have your uh, if you're subscribed to Clubrunner, you have your own Clubrunner website. You can go ahead and you can log in and you'll have access to cloud events right right now. You can start playing with it right away. Let's go ahead and move on to the next item, which is a, a pretty exciting one that I that I really like to to push out is ROA two way true synchronization. Uh, so for those of you that are familiar with Club Runner already, uh, we have a functionality to, uh, called RI integration, which effectively allows information that has been entered into Club Runner to be automatically sent over to Rotary International, so that the changes that you make in Club Runner are also made and kept up to date uh, in, in, in Rotary systems. So you don't have to make those changes in two different places. It's all done for you. Generally, uh, bef uh, before two-way true synchronization was implemented, um, that communication only really happened in one way. Information from Club Runner was sent over to Rotary, but if uh, a change was made in Rot on Rotary's end, like, in, like by logging through myrotary.org, that information would not be pulled directly back into Club Runner. Now, with this new update, uh, you can enable true synchronization, and that will make it so that it's a two-way street of communication. Any data that you update in Club Runner for your club's membership, the club information, club executives, that will all be sent over to Rotary International. And if someone goes ahead and makes any updates to your membership, your club information, your executives list, what have you, uh, on Rotaries and directly, and that will also be pulled directly into Club Runner. So this is a this is a pretty nice one that we can, that you can um, that I'd like to show out. If you guys do uh, are interested in, in enabling this option for your club, I am posting a um, a link to the support article that we have here, which will provide some instructions on how you can get this enabled. Any any quick questions about uh, RI integration? We have one or two more one or two more items that we I want to, I'd want to cover today. Okay. Sounds like everyone is okay. So let's go ahead and move on to the next item down here. Related to RI integration, we now have Rotaract uh, integration support. Uh, so before only uh, standard Rotary clubs would be able to enable RI integration. Um, now, any Rotaract clubs are able to uh, take advantage of this feature as well. And then the last few items that we have here, one email link tracking. Uh, so whenever you send out an email in Club Runner, uh, you can go ahead and you can choose to include any links to different web pages or, or videos, what have you. With this link tracking functionality, you can now see exactly, um, uh, you, not exactly, but you can see um, when a member that you had sent out that email to uh, had clicked on that link, how many times that link was clicked. So all of that information can be tracked. This is pretty useful information to kind of gauge engagement within the club, um, or if you're just interested in how much, like if you're sending out uh, new information, new documents, uh, you can keep an eye out on exactly who's taking a look at all of that information. So this isn't something that you have to enable. Whenever you send out a link in uh, through a Club Runner email, this in, this information will all automatically be tracked for you. Let's see if we have. I believe I pulled up a. No. But if we go into our email track uh, traffic report to take a look and take uh, track all of the emails that we have here. We can see all a big list of all of the emails that we've sent out previously. And let's see if we can find a good example. Mm. Let's try this three-story layout here. Yeah, so if we come to our email traffic report, 
uh, you'll see your full list of all everyone that, that the email was sent out to. And from there, you can click link tracking and each of the different links that were entered into that, uh, that email or bulletin uh, will be displayed here and you can find the exact uh, unique clicks. So how many times each link was clicked on uh, per person and then the total clicks, which is which will count how many clicks uh, in total between everyone that it was sent to. Um, so this is a good way to gauge that information. And then finally, the very last item that we have today, or well, I guess not the last one, but we have some additional stuff down there if you've already seen it. Uh, membership success. This is another really big module that we have put out in the past year or so. Uh, this is a really good way to help induct members into your club, or sorry, not uh, induct potential members into your club. Uh, one thing that I really like to show off for this is you have access to a membership inquiry form. So if someone is interested in joining your club, they can come in and they can enter in any information that they want uh, or any information regarding that you're, that you're looking for, like their name, contact information, general questions about their previous Rotary involvements. Uh, they can come in, enter all of this information, and it will be sent directly to your club for you to take a look at their applications. And once they've applied, you can bring them through a whole induction process to see whether they are a fit, uh, a, a proper fit for your club, and you want to bring them in as a member, or um, and then eventually leading them in to become an active member of the club. So they fill out this form. And then if we go back into our member area here and come in and access the membership success module, you can see we have a big dashboard of uh, we can see a bunch of really good information about this. So we have two new app, uh, two new prospective members who have applied and need to be reviewed by our club. So if we click on that number up here, it'll bring us directly to that list of everyone that's applied, and we can go through and review all of the all of the data that they've provided for us and see whether or not they are a good fit for the club. So you can see we have uh, Noach Blazing and Rosie Klin here. They have applied about 19 days ago. So it's a little it's a little old, these applications. But we can view uh, their information and see all of the all of the data that we have uh, that they have shared. And if we like what we see, we can then choose to either send them an email uh, asking for additional information, or we can add them to our applicants process. And this will start the process of, of guiding them through uh, joining the club and, and with the eventual eventual result in them joining the club and becoming an active member. And of course, you can keep notes on all of these individuals. So this is another really good way uh, for you guys to help um, help grow and foster new members coming into your club. Okay, so let's go ahead and touch on um, uh, some additional, some of the smaller items that we have here uh, really quickly. We've also implemented some new uh, page templates, bulletin templates. Uh, you can see a couple, a couple of examples of them in this screenshot here. So whenever you're going through and you're creating custom, custom pages or you're setting up bulletins to send out to your membership, there will be a bunch of new, uh, there are a bunch of new public templates that you can use that I think are really attractive. Um, you can use those to get a good uh, head start on your bulletins and custom pages. And if we scroll down, that's about it. These are the, uh, that's everything that's been new to Club Runner. You can see here some of the other features that are already available to you, um, but uh, these have been available for you for quite some time. Uh, and that's yeah, that's about everything that we've that we have to show you guys today. Um, if there was any other questions about some of these modules, please feel free to let me know. I'll be happy to answer. Uh, there's a question about a voting module. A voting module. Um, we don't have any sort of voting module currently, though I do like the sound of being able to go through and kind of gauge interest in regards to certain topics across the membership of a club. So that's a good idea. I will go ahead and take that and I will share that as a, 
as a as some feedback for our team as uh, for potential future updates. So thank you very much for that. Not right now, but we'll we'll we can consider it. Well, you do have a blog um, capability, right? To uh, put onto to stories. Yeah, so you can create stories um, and post them to your website, um, and the, you can enable comments for those as well. So yeah, that that is a good idea. You could use that as a way to 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 vote on different items. Um, everyone will have to comment individually. Um, I think that might be a little bit um, uh, maybe not like not the ideal solution. Um, but it, if you guys do need something, that is a way that you could go about doing um, making use of the functionality currently. Yeah. Okay. There's a question about pricing for the cloud events. If there's a subscription model, if you instead of um, you know pay per event. Yeah. So we uh, right now we don't have any confirmation on how the pricing structure for cloud events is going to end up being. It is definitely still something that we are discussing internally. And then whenever, uh, I believe I mentioned this earlier, whenever that decision has been uh, been finalized, we will make sure that everyone is well aware of it uh, well ahead of time before we, we start implementing that pricing structure. Um, if a subscription model is something that uh, that people are interested in, I could I can see it being, uh, being an option. I'll go ahead and, and pass it along as potential feedback as well. Okay. Any other questions for Club Runner? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. It was my pleasure. Thank you, everyone, for for having me here today. I hope uh, I hope all the different features that I showed off today are exciting, and you guys get to use them soon. Hey, uh, Naomi, I have a question. Go ahead. Is the new page and bulletin template like Canva? Or can it be used the same way? So I'm not uh, super familiar with Canva myself. Um, I can give you a quick example. Uh, within the website, we have our bulletin designer, for example. If we create a new bulletin, uh, we can come down and we can select uh, one of our templates here. So let's just say this one for the sake of the example. And then we can go in, this will bring us into that bulletin designer uh, once it's been finished processing. So once we are in that designer, you'll have access to the bulletin on the left where you can go through and you can add in whatever additional text that you want. Um, say, our meeting is next week. And then you'll have access on the right to a bunch of different widgets that you can use to, you can drag them in to customize all of the different content that's on your page. So if we want to share some meeting information, we can drag that in and drop it really easily. Mm -hmm. um, um, Roz, if you do something in Canva, what you can do is put it into an image, a JPEG, and then um, upload the image to this bulletin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, but I was just wondering if this was on the same um using their images would be the same are there they are new their bulletins uh yeah you're just limited to what they've got okay um thanks i, I have a question before you before we go all ahead. go i have a question before we all go um uh, i installed the uh, app club runner app into my device but i only got into the uh, into my home page with my name and my club. Uh, I would like to branch out into the other uh, uh, pages that you have shown, uh, Mr. Club uh, Runner team. How can I do that? So the Club Runner app, uh, it's not gonna be necessarily like uh, allow you to go through and browse through uh, through your club website or anything like that. It, it, it'll pro provide you information that's available on the website, like stories and new news articles, uh, upcoming events, um, event registrations um, through the app itself. If you wanted to browse the actual website, you would have to visit the website in a in a regular mobile app browser. Yes, so Nestorio, you, you see the three lines at the top. Go click that and go uh, to all of the different pages because there are a lot of pages on that application. Okay, so uh, thanks a lot, and we're got we're gonna move on to um, the Rotary website. So back to my 
screen because there's a, I need to fly through these um, these other screens and get back to the live shot. So for um, for the Rotary International website, that's rotary.org, or you can go My Rotary. And on the Rotary International website, you can, um, uh, it, they redesign it. So every once in a while, they'll change things. So you got to maybe figure out how to get um, two places, but you can personalize your homepage. Um, it's a little faster. They're grouped into um, these these categories. So when you click on these arrows, you'll get more um, of the menu to see what's available there. So all of the things that they had before, um, like manage uh, cl uh, club administration, they're all recategorized. So in the uh, resource in the member center, so the member center was in here. The member center, you can get your Rotary goals. You can sign up for newsletters. Um, you know, they have newsletters for uh, specific topics like youth service or leadership. You can download manage, um, manuals and, or you can't find discounts anymore. They took the, the sunset that um, discount program. But here you go, you go to register and you sign in with your username as your, uh, your email address as your username and then get in. If you try too many times, they're going to knock you off. You just need to register again. And if you haven't used it for a long time, you just need to register again and create the account. You can find your donations to the Rotary Foundation. So when you click on uh, my account up here, my donations, so tax season, if you needed a, um, a history of all of your donations, you click my donations and go to the history report and you can get um, an itemized listing of all of your donations. Okay, so um, in here, you can also find uh, reports, um, get to membership, um, um, we can add members here. A lot of great things. Uh, the Learning Center is in the Knowledge um, tab. So when you go to the Learning Center, there's a lot of courses that you can take. Uh, so just go click on those courses and, and raise your Rotary IQ. Um, here, you're, you can um, upload um, information about your projects in the Rotary Showcase. So when you go to <clears throat> Rotary Showcase, you're going to find this to put in your projects. Question? Is there a question? Okay, uh, Rotary Conventions, you go to conventions.rotary.org and then you can find information about uh, what's going on. Future conventions, so this year it's in Singapore, next year in Calgary, after that Taipei, after that in 2027 is in Honolulu, then Manila, Rick, it's in uh, Manila in um, June uh, 2028, then Minneapolis, Minneapolis in 2029, in Chicago uh, 20. 30 for the 125th anniversary of Rotary. You've got the brand center where you can get logos, you can get logo guidelines, you can get um, ads and a lot of great information in, in the uh, brand center. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen and go to the website. So we were at the website, Rotary's website. So let me show you some of the things that are on this website. We talked about um, these tabs where you can find um, information like where to find a club. So this club directory, so say you're on another island, you wanna know who's meeting. This tells you an alphabetical um, list of where the club, who the clubs are. But if you click on this meeting day, it'll sort it by day. So you can find out who's meeting at what time um, on what day. So that was find a club. Um, and then if you want information on the history of the uh, Rotary District and who the PDGs are, we have a uh, list of those. Then areas of focus, you can go to um, like community service and find out more information about community service, okay? Um, and uh, about the initiatives. We have the district calendar. We've got the yellow pages. You wanna find someone who is a Rotarian in our district, you can put in printer. And then it'll tell you who is a printer in our district. So here's Mark Marion. Okay, and this is a free listing. So if you want to sign up, go to sign up, put in your information is free to list. If you wanted to have a banner where your name, your company name comes up, you can um, pull, you can subscribe to the um, banner for thirty dollars a a year. Okay, so really affordable. Then resources. 
Um, we've got awards and district conference here in foundation. You can get grant information. The grant allocation is going to be in this page for grants. Your application is in this area. Okay, lots of great information. And then if you wanted the um, youth service, so you say you wanted RILA, you go to RILA in the youth services area. Okay, so that is our district website. So I've got three minutes more. Let me go to um, Rotary International. So rotary.org. Okay, so rotary.org gets a lot cleaner. Here you have the sign-in area. So when you sign in, um, you put your information in. Okay, and if you save it, it uh, you, you know you don't have to put in your uh, username at all uh, all the time. So here we are with the home page. You can get um, on your home page, my Rotary information about your club, like the um, the invoice um, reports. You can go to Rub Rotary Club Central here. There are going to be multiple ways where you can get into um, Rotary Club Central or the brand. Um, center or uh, even put in putting in information for the rotary citation on where you are. So it, this, if you click on here, rotary citation, it it'll give you um, what 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 you qualified for and what still needs to be working on um, participation. Um, so just go through all of these tabs to see what's there, and you'll find a lot of really great information. And um, here again is the donations. When you click on my donations, it'll give you a listing of all of the things that, um, all of the donations that you made and what category they are, okay? So that is the district website. I'm sorry, district and rotary website. Okay, any questions? Any, any place that you wanna see how to get to? All good? Okay. A lot of great information. So go play around and click on things. And I and I warn you, though, once you start clicking on things, you're going to find so much stuff that you're going to go out on a tangent and, and, and read up on a lot of great information. So allow a lot of time when you go explore this the websites. <laughs> I'll verify that. I went in looking in Rotary and leader, you know, and just in training classes, like five hours later, I'd been through so many. They're fantastically informative. So lots of good data out there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And that, and we're going back. Uh, 